Sullivan. I'm a former IRS agent and teaching instructor. And yes, I'm at home. I shoot these YouTubes here, um, getting ready for Christmas. So there's boxes everywhere. But um, I've been getting a number of calls about people who uh, haven't filed their uh, tax returns and are you behind on your return. So I'm just going to do a three minute segment on that. I'm a former agent. I've worked thousands of cases. I worked at IRS for 10 years, had high inventories. Um, when I left, I handpicked a bunch of former IRS agents across the country that were top really in their game. We're an excellent boutique firm. I've been on all the major news stations. I'm not going to talk much about myself. We're good. We're, we're, we're very good. Just whatever I tell you, it's kind of gold to you because I know what's going on at IRS because I should. I've done this so long. My hair is gray from IRS. Anyway, I just want to let you know that if you have, um, if you're behind on filing tax returns, this is what you have to do. Here's the steps to take, okay? Um, you should pull an IRS transcript first. Number one, go on the irs.gov portal, pull up your, your transcripts, find out. You can do this yourself. irs.gov, ask for your transcripts. Your record of accounts the best one. It tells you what's owed, what's not owed. We must or you must work off the official record. So that's number one. Find out what's owing and what tax returns have not been filed. Then you or someone else like us, whoever, you want to get those tax returns filed. You see what are missing. By the way, you only have to file the last six years. That's kind of cool. IRS has a policy statement. Not many people know about it. This is all popping up. Being a former agent, we'd obviously know about this. This is policy statement P5. 133. Look it up yourself. IRS policy statement P5 133 lets you know you only have to file the last six years federal tax returns. So we can do that if you're a W 2 wager. You can pull your transcripts and they'll tell you what your W 2s are. If you're a 1099, they'll be on there. But um, you probably need to get someone if you're self employed because a lot of times reconstruction is necessary. Then once you go ahead and get those tax returns filed, IRS is going to start billing you. So what's going to happen? Well, we kind of like to get the case early if we can. We like to look at the financial statement because we know what IRS is going to do. That's what I did for a living for 10 years. What is IRS going to do? They're going to ask for a financial statement, a 433F. It's at the service center, a 433A if it's with a revenue officer. At that time, very simple. They take this financial statement. They will make They'll either put you at that time and either currently non-collectible, CNC hardship, cases stay in there a couple years because you can't pay, interest and penalties run, but IRS comes out and takes a look later, or they'll ask for a payment agreement. Um, they can recommend an offer, but they don't do that there. You'll have to file your own offer, and that goes to a different group. That's when you can settle. Don't just try to settle your debt unless you know you're eligible. There's a lot of people that'll take your money. Um, I just had someone charge $70,000. They were ripped off to the hilt for the offer and compromise, and they weren't eligible for it. As soon as I looked at the financial statement, it didn't have a choice. One of the advantages to using former agents, we know what's going to happen. Sometimes we can polish up your financial statement a little better, make you look better. We're going to know the results before we call IRS. Anyway, you have now you know what to do. You want to get your tax returns filed, wait for the bill, if you're going to do your own work, uh, call IRS at some point in time. Get ready to give them usually a 433F and be prepared to have your case into currently non-collectible hardship or a payment agreement. But I'm going to tell you, if you don't know their national standards program, you're going to have a payment agreement out your kazoo. Trust me. Give me a subscription. I've told you the truth. Thank you so very much for listening.